It was one of the most famous love affairs of the golden age of Hollywood. The union between actors Lauren Bacall and Humphrey Bogart remains forever carved into history as one of the most scandalous and romantic love affairs that Tinseltown ever saw. The two met while filming Bacall's first movie. She was 19 while Bogart was 43. But the two lovebirds enjoyed a whirlwind of romance both on and off screen. While much has already been said about their affair, in this video we'll be discussing what Bacall herself had to say on it. But first, let's get a little background on both these iconic stars. Bogart was already an accomplished actor. Bogart was born Christmas Day in 1899. He was the son of a rich and influential New York heart surgeon and magazine art director. Humphrey was an intelligent person but performed poorly in school. After graduating, he enlisted in the Navy and fought in World War II. It was while serving his nation he got his signature scar right above his lip. After being honorably discharged in 1919, Bogart was unsure what he wanted to do. Around this time, he met an actor who helped him land a job as a company manager for a touring stage play. A year later, he was given a small part in the production with just one line. While that was relatively minor, he immediately fell in love with acting. Bogart's first major role was portraying an escaped convicted murderer in the play The Petrified Forest. The part, which he played for two years, garnered him a lot of attention and led to him being cast in a number of gangster films in the 1930s like Crime School and The Great O'Malley. He was able to step outside of this typecasting in 1941 when he landed the role of Detective Sam Spade in The Maltese Falcon. He went on to be cast opposite Ingrid Bergman in 1944's Casablanca, which received the Academy Award that year for Best Picture. While his film career had begun to take off, his personal life was far less successful. He got married to Helen Mencken in 1925, but they got divorced a year later. In 1928, he married Mary Phillips. That marriage lasted until 1937. He married his third wife, Mayo Metho, a year after divorcing Phillips. Metho was a raging alcoholic, and the two became infamous for their constant fights. They even earned themselves the less than flattering nickname, the Battling Bogarts. But despite their notorious marital problems, the two tried their best to make it work. Inevitably, though, Bogart fell in love with another woman. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content. And stick around to see what Lauren Bacall had to say about her love affair with Humphrey Bogart. Lauren Bacall's Grand Entrance into the World of Cinema Bacall was born Betty Joan Parsk in 1924 in New York City. Her dad was an alcoholic who abandoned his family when she was six. After he left, Lauren's mother changed their name to Bacall, which was her maiden name. When she was still young, Bacall fell in love with theater and started acting in high school plays. She began modeling and found herself on the cover of Harper's Bazaar in 1943. Howard Hawke's wife eventually noticed her and decided to give her a screen test. She advised Bacall to first change her first name. That's when she adopted the name Lauren, dropping Betty Joan. Bacall scored her first acting role in a film when she was 19 in the movie To Have and Have Not, in which she performed alongside future husband Humphrey Bogart. Lauren was thrilled to be cast, and Bogart was equally excited for the chance to work alongside her. On the first day of filming, Bacall was quite nervous, but Bogart extended his helping hand and helped the young starlet learn how to relax. To mask her anxiety, Lauren began tucking her chin, which meant she had to look up to the actor. This pose, which would become known as the look, became something of Bacall's signature feature, and it followed her throughout her acting career. Bacall wrote later in her memoir there was a tremendous amount of chemistry between her and her co-star. That chemistry ended up changing both the film as well as their lives. One of Hollywood's steamiest romances In the final cut of the film, the two characters played by Bacall and Bogart ended up together. A few weeks into the production, Bogart and Bacall shared a passionate off-screen kiss. Afterward, he was able to secure the young star's phone number. Bacall's mother wasn't thrilled at the idea of the two engaging in a romance, especially since Bogart was a married man. But that didn't stop Lauren from pursuing her heart. Despite their quarter-century age difference, the two actors quickly fell in love. Bogart kept trying to make his marriage work even while he was having his affair with Bacall, but he eventually got divorced in 1945. Eleven days later, he and Bacall got married. The two went on to appear in four films together before Bacall stepped away from acting to devote more of her time and energy to caring for her growing family. They welcomed their son Stephen into the world in 1949. Three years later, they had a baby girl named Leslie. 
Although it seemed like everything was going swimmingly, their fairy tale came to an end in 1957 when Bogart died of esophageal cancer that left Bacall widowed at the relatively young age of 32. Bacall later turned to acting, appearing in several films and Broadway productions. She was briefly engaged to Frank Sinatra, but that relationship fizzled out. She married her second husband, Jason Robards, in 1961. The two had a son named Sam, but their marriage also eventually fell apart, and they got divorced in 1969. Bacall died in 2014 at age 89. Behind-the-scenes details of Bacall and Bogart's romance after filming wrapped up on To Have or Have Not in 1944, the two were forced to part ways. Bacall received a letter from Bogart shortly afterwards in which he wrote that saying goodbye to her was a hit like part of him was dying. He further expressed that when he walked away from her, a little part of his heart had perished. In the months that ensued, Bogart did everything he could to make his marriage to Metho work. When reflecting on Bogart's decision to try to make his marriage work, Bacall later wrote that while she respected the decision, it didn't mean she had to like it. Just a year after they exchanged their heartbreaking goodbyes, they were reunited on the set of The Big Sleep. And just like that, it was like they had never separated. The flames of passion were instantly reignited. Bogart initially struggled coming to grips with his undeniable chemistry with Bacall, but after several months of internal debate, he finally left Metho. Eleven days later, he and Bacall walked down the aisle together and tied the knot at a small ceremony surrounded by their closest friends at a farm in Ohio. When Bogart saw his bride walk down the aisle, he reportedly greeted her by saying, Hello, baby, to which Bacall replied by saying, Oh, goody. Humphrey evidently even cried as they exchanged their vows. Bogart later admitted he was at first reluctant to marry Bacall, but apparently she was persistent in expressing her desires, and eventually he gave in. In 2011, Bacall told Vanity Fair that from the beginning of their relationship, Bogart had told her he loved her and he would do everything to help her, but flatly refused to marry her. Bogart wanted a wife who would be by his side, and that's what Bacall wanted as well. They both wanted children, especially since Bacall hadn't had any of her own. That's why she was so persistent. She knew she would be a happy and loving wife if she could convince Bogart to marry her. Fortunately, her pushiness paid off. Even after having two children together, they were still Hollywood stars before they were spouses and parents, and everyone in their orbit, from film execs to their fans, assumed something would eventually go wrong. But they proved everyone wrong, and although their marriage was Bogart's fourth, it ended up being his happiest. Bacall did give up many opportunities to raise her family, but she didn't mind trading Hollywood for these more conventional and traditional values. She told The Guardian in 2005 she never regretted her decision to take a step away from Hollywood to focus on Bogart and her children because those were the things that gave her life substance. Now it's time to hear from you. What do you think about Lauren Bacall and Humphrey Bogart's romance? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.